When you learn that House Beautiful wants to shoot your home, it's a little bit like getting into Harvard. You keep wondering, am I the first dumb one that they're letting in? You know they've seen the scouting shots, which are kind of like the SAT scores, but you very much hope that when the editor actually comes and sees the house in real life for the first time, that it will live up to all expectations. The second thing you think is, do I need to redo anything? How can I get it ready? Of course, it has to look like a real house, and it has to reflect that you are living there. That's why they loved it in the first place. But let's be honest, it also has to be ready for its close-up. Every model needs makeup, no matter how photogenic they are. The rooms have to look fresh, organized, edited, but also stylish, glamorous, and a little bit impromptu. How many new things do you need to buy or borrow? Pets should be groomed. Your hair should most likely be washed. Flowers, of course. Is there going to be a portrait? Oh, and what kind of flowers? What season will the issue debut? We're in the country, but we don't want it to look too country. Better to remember to replace those bathroom light bulbs and buy that throw you've been eyeing. Oh, and are they shooting outside as well as the inside? How does the garden look? Because that brings a whole new level of challenges and opportunities. Over the next ensuing days, your house is definitely a stage as well as the performer. It's also host to the talented crew and editorial team that set up shop there and not only use it as their office, but also as their home. I think getting to spend those hours with them and getting to see the shots set up as they unfold is almost my most favorite part. After everybody goes home and months later when you finally get to see it spread across the glossy pages of the magazine, you realize your home, in a way now, belongs to everyone.